So in the previous videos we have learned about monosaccharide chemistry and now in this video we will learn about disaccharide, trisaccharide and polysaccharide. Disaccharides A disaccharide is a glycoside in which the anomeric hydroxyl group of one monosaccharide is bonded by an acetal linkage to any of the hydroxyl groups which may be anomeric hydroxyl or may be any one of the alcoholic hydroxyl group of a second monosaccharide. There are three types of glycosidic bonding arrangements in disaccharides. The first one is the 1-1-linkage. One, one the first one is the 1-1-linkage. One, one the anomeric carbon of the first sugar molecule is bonded through an oxygen atom to the anomeric carbon of the second sugar molecule. The 1-1-linkage one, one linkage is present in sucrose. So this is the structure of your sucrose and this is the anomeric carbon for the first molecule and this is the anomeric carbon for the second molecule. See this one is the 1 carbon, this one is the 2, this one 3, this one 4 this one 5 and this one is the 6 similarly this one is the 1 dash this one is the 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash and 5 dash so the bonding is between the 1 and 1 dash carbon one four dash linkage the anomeric carbon of the first sugar molecule is bonded to the oxygen atom on c4 of the second sugar molecule. The 1-4 dash linkage is present in cellobios, maltose and lactose. So this is the structure of cellobios where you can see this one is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 carbon. Similarly this one is the 1 dash which is the hemiacetyl carbon. This is the 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and 6 dash. So the bonding is between this one carbon and this four dash carbon that's why this is the one four dash linkage one six dash linkage the anomeric carbon of the first sugar molecule is bonded to the oxygen atom on c6 of the second sugar molecule the one six dash linkage is present in zentiobios so this is your zentiobios or zentiobios and this is the 1 6 dash linkage this is the 1 6 dash linkage now see this one is the first carbon which is the acetyl carbon here and this one here is the hemiacetyl carbon and this 6 dash carbon is giving its OH for the bonding Now here you can see the IUPAC name of sucrose, maltose and lactose. Now sucrose can be said alpha D glucopyranosyl beta D fructofuranose or even you can say beta D fructofuranosyl alpha D glucopyranose. Maltose is called 4O alpha D glucopyranosyl alpha D glucopyranose and lactose is called 4O beta D galactopyranosyl alpha D glucopyranose. And the this is the name this is the list of some important disaccharide. You can just note it down. Sucrose, trehalose, maltose, syllabios, lactose, zentiobios, and melibios. In different different books you will get different different nomenclature system but this is the best one. So don't be confused if you see any mistake in any other book. Just follow this nomenclature. Sucrose Ordinary table sugar is a disaccharide called sucrose. Sucrose, the most widely occurring disaccharide, is found in all photosynthetic plants 
and is obtained commercially from sugarcane or sugar beets. This is the structure of sucrose where you can see the glucose unit is bounded with the alpha bond and this fructose unit is bounded with the beta bond. You know in horse production the up, upward bonds are the beta bonds. The structure of sucrose is based on the following evidence. Sucrose has the molecular formula C12H22O11. Acid catalyzed hydrolysis of 1 mole of sucrose yields 1 mole of D-glucose and 1 mole of D-fructose. Sucrose is a non-reducing sugar. It gives negative tastes with Benedict's and Tollens solutions. Sucrose does not form an osachone and does not undergo muta rotation. These facts mean that neither the glucose nor the fructose portion of sucrose has a hemiacetal group. Thus the two hexoses must have a glycosidic linkage that involves C1 of glucose and C2 of fructose. For only in this way will both carbonyl groups be present as full acetals. Now invert sugar, this is a very very important thing, invert sugar. When sucrose is hydrolyzed by dilute aqueous acid, it yields equimolar mixture of D-glucose and D-fructose. Since D-fructose has a greater specific rotation and the D-fructose has the negative specific rotation whereas the D-glucose has the positive specific rotation. So positive for glucose and negative for fructose. And fructose has greater specific rotation in case of its magnitude. The resulting mixture is levorotatory. So you are hydrolyzing sucrose and you will get a equimolar mixture of glucose and sucrose. Sorry, glucose and fructose. This hydrolysis is accompanied by a change in the sign of optical rotation from positive to negative is called inversion of cane sugar. The solution is also called invert sugar. Because fructose is sweeter than sucrose, invert sugar is sweeter than sucrose. So, the optical rotation of sucrose was plus. But whenever you are just hydrolyzing it with some aqueous acid, it gives glucose and fructose. As the optical rotation of the fructose is higher than glucose, that's why this whole mixture will have a negative optical rotation. So you have taken the positive optical rotation and you have got a mixture which has the negative optical rotation. That's why this is called invert sugar. Most common form of invert sugar is honey, a super saturated mixture of glucose and fructose. D-glucose has a specific rotation of plus 52.7 degree and D fructose has a specific rotation of minus 92.4 degree. The specific rotation of invert sugar is half of the sum of those two individual monosaccharides. So this is the value of the specific rotation of the invert sugar. Minus 19.9 degree. This is the Fisher projection of sucrose and this one is the chair confirmation for glucose and Howard's projection for fructose and this one is both the Howard's projection for glucose and fructose. So these are the representation of sucrose. Prehalose. Trehalose is a sugar consisting of two molecules of glucose as 1-1 one, one linkage. It is also known as mycose or tremalose. Some bacteria, fungi, plants and invertebrate animals synthesize it as a source of energy and to survive freezing and lack of water. Trehalose has high water retention capabilities and is used in food, cosmetics and as a drug. So this is the structure of prehalose where the linkage is 1-1 linkage 
and both are just glucose unit glucose plus glucose with the one one linkage this is the trehalose maltose the structure of maltose was deduced based on the following evidence when one mole of maltose is subjected to acid catalyzed hydrolysis, it yields two mole of D glucose. Unlike sucrose, maltose is a reducing sugar. It gives positive test with phalanx, benedix, and Torrance solution. Maltose also reacts with phenyl hydrazine to form a monophenyl osazone. That is, it incorporates two molecules of phenyl hydrazine. Maltose exists in two anomeric form. Alpha maltose, which has optical rotation plus 168 degree, and beta maltose, which has optical rotation plus 112 degree. The maltose anomers undergo mutual rotation to yield an equi equilibrium mixture with the optical rotation plus 136 degree. Facts 2 and 3 demonstrate that one of the glucose residue of maltose is present in a hemiacetal form and the other therefore must be present as a glucoside. The configuration of this glucosidic linkage can be inferred as alpha because maltose is hydrolyzed by alpha glucosidase enzyme and not by the beta glucosidase enzymes. So this one is the alpha linkage. Just see it here. This one is alpha. This one is also alpha, but they are specifying just the glucosidic linkage. Now this O is this one is the hemiacetal carbon, and this O is or this hemiacetal group is responsible for the mutualization and oxygen formation for the reducing property of this maltose and this is the acetyl carbon which is forming the glycosidic linkage 1 4 glycosidic linkage and this is the structure of your maltose this will be alpha okay this will be alpha I have forgotten to change this Maltose has a free hemiacetal ring. This hemiacetal is in equilibrium with its open chain form. Because of this, maltose is a, because of this, maltose is a reducing sugar and exhibits mutation. So this is the maltose structure, shear form, and this is open chain aldehyde form. You can see this one is the open chain form. Because of this, this aldehyde can reduce those solutions benedic solution toilet solution and that's why maltose can show reducing property and also mutual rotation osazone of maltose so this is the maltose osazone you can see that the acetyl carbon is um, the acetyl carbon is not reacting here actually the hemiacetyl carbon which was the hemiacetyl carbon that is reacting with the phenyl hydrazine and the acetyl carbon is intact here this is your maltose This is your maltose and this if you just add bromine water this will be oxidized to maltonic acid and then you can add dimethyl sulfur sulfate and then you can just hydrolyze it and 
if you go here take more toes mm -hmm. what is happening something is wrong yes take more toes then give methanol in acidic con condition then just add dimethyl sulfate then you will get this one if you hydrolyze it you will get this tetramethyl deglucose and trimethyl deglucose Lactose Lactose is a disaccharide present in the milk of humans, cows and almost all other mammals. Lactose is a reducing sugar that hydrolyzes to yield D-glucose and D-galactose. So this is the structure of your lactose. This is the lactose and this one is actually the galactose unit. This one is the glucose unit. So galactose unit is bound with the beta linkage. This one is the beta linkage. And the glucose unit has the alpha linkage. So the name is 4O beta D galactopyranosyl alpha D glucopyranose. Domain acid oxidation of lactose. If you take lactose, the hemiacetal group is in the glucose image. Okay. So if you add bromine water, then this group will be oxidized to give lactobionic acid. And this acetal linkage will remain intact. This one is intact. Osazone of lactose. If you react phenyl hydrazine with lactose, then this galactose part will remain unchanged because it contains the glycosidic linkage. And this glucose part will form the osazone because it bears the hemiacetal group. Cellobios. This is the structure of cellobios. You can see this one or this one. The first linkage is the beta glycosidic linkage, and this one is the alpha linkage. Now, cellobios you need in cellulose. Actually, cellobios can be obtained from the hydrolysis of cellulose. So, this is the Cellobios unit in cellulose. Partial hydrolysis of cellulose gives the disaccharide cellobios, which has the formula C12H22O11. <coughs> C12H22O11 is the cellobios resembles maltose in every aspect except the configuration of its glycosidic linkage. Cellobios, like maltose, is a reducing sugar that on acid catalyst hydrolysis yields two molar equivalents of D-glucose. Cellobios also undergoes mutarotation and forms a monopoly monophenyl osazone. Methylation studies show that C1 of one glucose unit is connected in glycosidic linkage with C4 of the other and that both rings are six-membered. Unlike maltose, However, cellobios is hydrolyzed by beta glycosidase enzymes and not by alpha glucosidase enzyme. So, cellobios is hydrolyzed by beta glucosidase and not by alpha glucosidase. This indicates that the glycosidic linkage in cellobios is beta. Zentiobios 
Xenterobiose is a disaccharide composed of two units of D glucose joined with one six beta linkage. It is a white crystalline solid that is insoluble in water or hot methanol. This was first obtained from trisaccharide xenthianose. So this is the structure of xenthiobios. You can see this one is the beta linkage and this is the number one carbon and this is connected with the hydroxyl group of the six carbon. So one six dash linkage. This is the one six dash linkage. Melibios. Melibios is a reducing disaccharide formed by an alpha one six linkage between galactose and glucose. So this is the structure of galactose and this is the glucose. It differs from lactose in the chirality of the carbon where the galactose ring is closed and that the galactose is linked to a different point of the glucose moiety. This is obtained from the trisaccharide raffinose. So if you partial if, if you go through the partial hydrolysis of raffinose, you will get this melibios, which contains one unit of galactose and one unit of glucose. Here the linkage is this one is the one and this one is the six carbon. So one six linkage where this galactose ring contains the hemiacetal. Sorry, the galactose ring is the glycosidic linkage and this glucose unit contains the hemiacetal unit.